are standing here on the site of one of the most infamous incidents in Scotland's history. This is where King James I was murdered in 1436. Not in the pub. Um, even, even kings don't get murdered in pubs. However, this is the site of the old Blackfriars Priory, the home of a religious order. Now, Perth was a walled town, and Blackfriars Priory sat just outside the city walls, and it was very much a favoured royal residence for King James I. And indeed, this is where parliaments would be held when the king was in town. Now, King James I, he had an interesting background. When he was only 11 years old, he was kidnapped by pirates and handed over to the English, possibly with the connivance of his uncle, the Duke of Albany. He was kept hostage in London for 18 years before being released on the promise of a huge ransom. Now, to ensure that ransom was paid, the nobles of Scotland, who were going to have to pay the ransom, had to send their sons down as hostages instead of the king. Now, King James I, when he got home, he kind of forgot about these other hostages. The money that was raised for his ransom, he spent on huge building projects like Linlithgow Palace. And this, not understandably, made some of the nobles, some of the lords, a little bit unhappy. And a decision was made that King had to go. So whilst King James I and his wife were staying here in Blackfriars Priory, a group of conspirators led by Sir Robert Graham came and were given admission to the Priory by a traitor. Approximately 30 men went searching for the king. He was alerted and he hid in a drain underneath his royal apartments. Now, unfortunately for the king, just a few days earlier, the drain had been blocked up at his request because he kept using tennis balls. So he couldn't escape. He was found by the conspirators. He was dragged out and he was stabbed dozens of times, dying in a pool. Now, the queen, she was wounded but managed to escape. Big mistake by the conspirators. Big. She took a terrible revenge. The conspirators were dragged naked through the streets of Edinburgh. They were burned with red hot pokers. They were beheaded and dismembered and their heads were displayed on pikes around the, the country of Scotland. Now, at this stage, Perth was Scotland's capital. Would you believe it? They moved the capital to Edinburgh. We kill one king, one king, and we lose our capital status. But it was 600 years ago. We are just slowly getting over the disappointment.